Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. In this video, we are going to be talking about how to trade double tops. Now, double top, I'm sure you know what it looks like. It's a couple of uh, price peaks, basically, two consecutive price peaks. Um, and so the price can't get past those peaks. It's supposed to be a bearish reversal. And traders are normally going to go short when you uh, when you get a break of that neckline. Um which is the trough between the two peaks. So the idea of this um, video is really just to go over um, an article I wrote um, on my blog, jbmard.com. Um, now the idea is basically, most people when they talk about double tops, they just tell you how it's formed, and then they just say, yeah, you're supposed to go short when you break the neckline. But no one really um, looks into it, tells you, what the win rate is, what's the potential of this pattern, does it really work? So that's the idea behind this. Um, it's not always easy to test these patterns, but that's what we're trying to do. So the first thing we really need to do is come up with a strong definition of what a double top is. So we made that um, graphic with points A, B and C showing, and a neckline showing what a double top looks like. And obviously we need to be very clear about certain criteria if we want to write this down into um, code. So, you know, how are we going to define point A? Is it going to be a 200 day high? Is it going to be a 50 day high? Um, and equally, how are we going to define the neckline? Is it going to be a 20% drop from point A? And point C as well, How what's the difference going to be between the high at point A and the high at point C? And of course, how many bars is this all going to take place going to take place in. So our solution is to come up with some code um, that takes into account all of these important criteria. Um, we can then use adjustable parameters to run an optimization and find out which double tops um, work the best. We can test lots of different variations of double tops to see if they work at all. So that's what we've done um, with this graphic. We've laid it all out. So we've got the first peak should be 120 should be a high of 126 or 252 trading days and so we've got we've laid it all out and the other important point is the higher a should be less than 1% difference there should be less than 1% difference between the higher a and the higher c um, so that's going to be the basic basis of this double top and we came up with the code for that we've written it into ami broker and now we're going to be testing it on historical data. And here's an example of the kind of double top that it picks out. So you chuck in the code and it throws out these patterns. And so we've got a pink asterisk here representing peak A and a pink asterisk here representing peak C uh, or, or the second peak, if you will. And obviously this is the trough in the middle. And then we go short when we get a break of that trough, which is supposedly the way you trade these double tops. So we set up the code. I'm gonna set up the back test and uh, we're going to test it over different time frames. So one day, three day, five day, and 10 day. We're going to test to see how effective the pattern is. We're going to short stocks when the pattern occurs and see what the average profit is and the win rate from the pattern. So as I said, we're using data from Norgate's Investor Services, and we're going to be testing every single stock in the S&P 500 between 2000 to 2018, and this is going to include delisted stocks. So this is a hell of a lot of data. So we're going to get some a lot of information here from our test, and that should be um, give us a lot of insight into how well this pattern works. Okay. So we ran an optimization on the data that um, S&P 500 stocks. And we first did it on an in-sample period between 2000 and 2012. And this is so that we can then test the winning variations on a cleaner out-of-sample period between 2012 to 2018. So let's take a look at the results we got. So this table here, we filtered out any results that have less than 150 trades because we want to see a decent enough sample size. So as you can see here, we've had top uh, these are the top 19 optimization results for our double top code. And you can see that these are all the ones with um, an average profit per trade over 0.2%. So you can see our best variation was number 321. We had 170 trades and we got an average percent profit per trade of 0.39%. And this was with 
uh, this was with a holding period of three days, and the win rate was 50% for this pattern. So, and then these columns at the end, they show you the settings. So we've got 126 high for the first top, 126 day high for the first top. We've got a 20% maximum peak to trough difference. We've got a minimum peak to peak bars of 30 bars and a maximum length of 189 bars. So straight away we can see that our top optimization result gave us a pro average profit of 0.39% per trade shorting um, this pattern over three days. So straight away we can say you know this isn't a great profit 0.39% you can see there's a slight edge there, but you know when you take commissions out of that, um, it's going to be small. And obviously, we haven't yet tested this on out-of-sample data, so we could have just got a good result here from um, a little bit of data mining. So next step is to compare this to an out-of-sample test. So we're going to run the same optimization, but this time on the out-of-sample data. Now, if we take the top 19 results that we got from the in-sample and compare that to the outer sample, that's what this table represents. So our top 19 results from the first table above, um, all shown in green. Um, and we've compared that to the average profit in the outer sample test. So as, for example, this number 11 here at the top, we had 133 trades. The average profit per trade in the in sample was 0.26%. Now we move that over to the out of sample and the average percent profit per trade was only 0.07% per trade. And this is with a one day holding period. So you can see it was a very, very tiny profit, uh, very, very tiny edge in the in sample and it hasn't translated over to the out of sample. So not a good result. In fact, out of the top 19 results in the ensemble, only two variations showed a profit over 0.2%, and these are highlighted yellow. So our top variation in the previous test was number 321. We got a 0.39% profit in the ensemble, as we mentioned before, but in the outer sample, uh, we managed 0.23% profit per trade. With This is with a, um, a three-day holding period, uh, the win rate's gone down to 49%. So overall, we've got a fairly low average gain per trade for all of these, really. Um, and this is even before commissions. So, you know, once you put commissions into the mix, that profit's going to drop even further and you're barely going to be breaking even, shorting these uh, patterns. So what can we say? Well, really, we've tested these double top patterns. We've tested, you know, hundreds of different variations of our double top and we've just come up with not very good results. Um, so really, we're going to need significant improvements to turn this pattern into a profitable short strategy. I mean, I wouldn't recommend you going out and shorting a stock based on a double top. Based on this data, it really shows that there isn't much to go on. Um, there may be some benefit to a double top pattern as a kind of a hedge to a long strategy, maybe to reduce your risk, but really there's going to be probably much better patterns out there um, I think one I mean one positive conclusion we can make from these tests is that the short trades seem to work better over the shorter holding periods so so one day two day three days if you're gonna short a stock you want to keep it in that kind of time zone one to three days because that's when you're going to get the best results and this is the kind of information that might be useful for a different experiment um, maybe with a pattern that's got a bit more expectancy so yeah, I've just basically gone over the article that I wrote um, at the blog and on the blog I also did an intraday test. Um, the results for that were pretty mixed as well. So we did um, five major ETFs, SPY, Qs, Gold, USO and TLT and you know we did get some kind of interesting results for um, USO but that was with a really small sample size so a lot more work is needed. Um, on the intraday double top um, to make any good conclusions about that. So really, I think the purpose of this video and the purpose of the article I wrote was to really look at the double top in detail, test lots of different variations and see if there's any truth to this kind of uh, myth or kind of rule that it's a profitable short setup, that it's a bearish setup. And really, there isn't much truth to this pattern being a bearish setup. So 
I think there are really three reasons why there could be, you know, this disagreement between traders who say this is a bearish pattern and, you know, um, this evidence that says it's not profitable. I think, you know, the first reason that some traders have made money from these patterns in the past, and it was mostly down to luck. Second reason could be some traders are actually making money from these patterns, but they're really making money not because of the pattern itself, but probably because of other factors like news or other indicators um, or skill that they can incorporate into that. Three, and I think this is probably the most likely reason, is that these patterns just are not very effective and traders are really just deluding themselves and actually not making money from these patterns at all. But, um, you know, they're kind of deluding themselves. They think they're making money, but in actual fact, if they looked back and looked at all the trades they took, they probably will, would find that the pattern has no positive expectancy. So, really, you know, this boils down to the fact, once again, that the markets are really efficient. Um, you can't expect just a you know short, a simple double top pattern in the stock market and hope to make money from it. Obviously, you could go a bit more in depth, um, make some improvements, look at different markets, um, do some kind of machine learning type thing. But really, looking at the results of this double top, we've tested a lot of variations here, and we've done, we've put it through a lot of the, a lot of data. Uh, we haven't got anything good, so. Um, this is not a pattern you want to be scorting on its own. The results simply aren't good enough. Okay, thanks for tuning in. See you next time.